everybody. Thank you for joining me here in the broom closet. This is Seka. I hope everyone had an awesome weekend. I do apologize for any noise in the background. As you know, I have cats and they're going insane right now because it is windy, 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 and it's howling through my house like a banshee. So those are the noises you will probably hear throughout this video. So this week, as promised, I didn't actually think I would get it done this weekend, but it happened, the witch's ladder that I was going to try to make, uh, that was inspired by quite a few different things. Ethan Yuan sent me a video a while ago because I was curious to know about witch's ladders. He sent me the video from the witchy mommy and she creates and tells about um, her witch's ladder that she makes out of feathers, which is beautiful, quite lovely. and. Um, and at some point I'm going to do that. At some point I'm going to do a little travel size witch's ladder with charms on it. So he sent me her video because I am quite a big fan of the Viking show. And in this show, ever since season one, I noticed outside the, um, the all-seeing oracle or like the, the medicine man outside his place and even some other buildings, there was a um like roof to roof to floor cord of um wood and i didn't know what that was so i tried you know googling it and looking at more information about the viking culture and um i'm still gathering information about that but i wanted my witch's ladder to be that size and to really um be a protection for my home and a constant positive uh, energy before you even walk through the door. So the reason I made my witch's ladder and um, I am going to include some Book of Shadows pages here in a little while once I get started on them about uh, the cord or the uh, excuse me the knot sequence and the knot um, spell that I that I used. So I basically wanted to um, just re reinforce the already um, positive energy, the love, the unconditional understanding, and um, a happy hearth, happy home in my area, in my house, for my cats, for everybody who walks in. So I'm going to show you how I did it, but um, I have it sitting up here on my desk. I don't think I can show you bit by bit, but I ended up using uh, the driftwood that I found, not all of it, I actually had extra, which was great. So at the base, I used one of my hagstones. Oh man, this is gonna be a bitch, try to hang up. So I used this one, the one, I, the one with the, uh, as you recall, the little divot in there. So on the bottom, this is pretty heavy too, my gosh. I hope it stands up because it's so windy. At the bottom, I have an uncle in Australia who sends me opal all the time. So down here at the bottom, I included a little opal charm because to me, this kind of looks like the uh, all seeing eye and um, you know, to ward off a little bit of evil. So that's gonna be my my grounding, my weight. And it's, I, it's heavy, it is heavy. And I decided to use, um, not including the weight, I did nine knots. The phone is going off, I apologize. Nine knots, and in the center, the second charm I decided to use was a tiger's eye. And I actually ended up using that because of the other day, the video that I shot for the altar. Uh, I forgot I had it in, in my little camel bone jewelry box, so I used the tiger's eye for that. So let me skip ahead because I can't, I thought I could lift this up and show everybody, but um, I'm going to cut to how I made it and then at the end I'll show you when I hang it up. Thank you everybody for joining me and have a blessed week. Talk to you later. Of course. Here we go. So I had already cut the piece of twine that I was gonna use and I am just showing you how I did that. I know from experience that you will always usually need more than anticipated so I did twice the length of all the driftwood laid out. 
So what is a witch's ladder? Usually it's small, you can put it in your pocket, your purse, backpack, and it's something you can take with you as a sort of meditation tool. The objects and number of knots are significant to the purpose that it's being used for, and people can use it for, as I said, meditation or ritual, uh, as binding spell, and in my case I used it as a symbol of protection and love harmony for my home. Traditionally, witches' ladders are made with red, white, and black yarn and uh, different colored feathers, but you can use whatever you'd like. And in this case, I wanted to stay really, really neutral and natural to my area here in Southern California, so I used the hagstones and the driftwood that I found, and I bought some twine at the local craft store. And I wanted to keep everything very down to earth. So I didn't use any color apart from the little charm at the bottom that symbolizes the all seeing eye. And that too is a natural rock found in the earth. As you'll see in this video, there's a lot of cat action happening here. They are very, very curious when I do projects and I tend to do 90% of the projects on the floor because it's very spacious. And as each knot is tied, I'm really focusing on the intent and the goal. And as you make your own witch's ladder, the final knot, the ninth or thirteenth knot, all your energy should be directed into the cords, into the knots, and into whatever material you're using, whether that's feathers, driftwood, stones, charms. All the energy is literally stored within the knots of the witch's ladder. When you complete the string and add it all, nine feathers, nine beads, whatever you're using. You can hang it like I'm going to hang mine or even tie the two ends together to create a circle. Modern Wiccans and Neopagans use the witch's ladder primarily for healing, binding, and wish-granting rituals. They can also be used to bind the 13 moons of the year together. Knot spells may be created for such diverse purposes as reducing pain, binding love, ensuring safe travel, or creating a peaceful environment for the home. The string or core can be made out of almost any material, but natural fiber such as hair, wool, hemp, or cotton are preferred. As you can see for each of these, I'm trying to take into account the balance and the harmony that it's going to bring. So if the driftwood doesn't sit right a certain way, I'll adjust it. And I've had to uh, double up the knots on each other to make sure that it doesn't slide up and down the rope, that it stays nice and tight. So here in the middle, I didn't know I was going to do this. I thought I was going to have them all facing the same direction and then I had an idea. I love the shape that the two center pieces of driftwood made. So for this idea, I went and I grabbed the tiger's eye my best friend had given to me. And I thought that would be a perfect centerpiece for this ladder. And throughout this whole process, I'm just keeping in mind the energy that this will bring. And the closer and closer I get to the end, the happier and giddier I'm starting to feel. It can be really tricky doing crafts around cats, but I think that they bring an awesome character and an awesome energy to the project you're working on. So let them be a part of it. Here it is, the finished ladder. I can't even fit the whole thing in the screen. It's probably as tall as I am. Everyone, thank you so much for watching, and I will hopefully be able to hang this shortly. But from me to you, and from Loki to you, thank you for watching, everyone. Have a wonderful day.